Hello and welcome to Small Bites, equity strategies for busy people. Hello and welcome back to Small Bites. If you know anything about the way I feel about history, I feel that it's not history, but histories. And so I will be talking a little bit about history and perception this week. Um, when I woke earlier this week to find that we'd lost John Lewis, great American hero, icon, civil rights leader for many decades, I realized that things have changed, but many, many things are still the same. I'm about to play a clip for you, so if you want to fast forward, please do. The following clip is Bloody Sunday. That man in the light-colored coat is a young John Lewis, and he's marching peacefully, silently, on that bridge on Bloody Sunday. Fast forward to 2020. <laughs> I thought about how much we think of history as, um, something that is immovable, but it's not. The protests of the 60s were not well received by the public, even black people. I remember as a little girl, my great grandmama saying, they're gonna get us killed because she was from a time when as a black person in the South, you stayed in your place. So she didn't understand. We would not have taken that on. But for those who did, they were seen also as the day's thugs, the people who were looking to destroy the South, destroy the way of living, tear apart the country. I am asking you, as you watch history unfold, to remember that change is always revolutionary and change almost always comes with violence and loss. How will history remember this moment? How does history remember the fall of the Berlin Wall or the Boston Tea Party or Tiananmen Square? How will history remember the protests during the great pandemic of 2020? Will they remember thugs and evil people destroying our country or will they remember that the world saw the opportunity for change? Will you be remembered as having seen this as an opportunity? for change. I am hoping that as you meet your children, as you prepare to meet them, as you look for resources to build equity, inclusivity, a classroom and campus that reflects our world's great diversity, our nation's great diversity, I hope that you'll remember that what seems like a bad thing now might just be like medicine that goes down bitter, but the lasting results are healing and good. And Once again, all the links can be found at hedrick.com and that link is in the description below. If you have 20 to 30 minutes, Watch 30 minutes of Black America Since MLK and Still I Rise. It'll give you a good idea of how much progress we've made since the 60s and also how much progress we haven't made since the 60s. If you have 15 to 20 minutes, visit Yaritza Vijalba's website with history, engagement, and equity resources and videos. So you kind of get a threefer. You can also follow her at Inc underscore YV. If you have 
10 to 15 minutes, review Khan Academy's lesson on Richard Nixon's employing of the Southern strategy in 1968. It's interesting how many things, again, have changed since 1960s, but it's kind of eerie to see some things that have not. If you have five to 10 minutes, buy a mask, support a cause. I found an article recently and it was full of all of these companies who are producing masks and also giving to various causes. So take a look, see what the offerings are, have some fun and buy a mask that keeps on giving. If you have zero to five minutes, follow the anti-racism calendar on Instagram. It's a an actual calendar uh, from 16 year old Tilly Krishna out of Vermont. And she's put together resources for every day so that you can learn something about black history every day. Thank you again so much for coming. Please like, subscribe, go to hedrick.com to get all the links that you heard about here today. And I will see you next Friday for more Small Bites. Because how do you eat an elephant? One, One bite, bite at a time. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. See Bye -bye. you next week. <laughs>